Can you tell us uh, what, uh, how what we are doing here today is going to impact uh, smallholder farmers in Nigeria? Uh, very much so. Uh, the reason is simple. Don't forget to the main mandate of NASA is to get uh, sufficient finance and investment into the agricultural value chain, particularly at the smallholder farmer level. These are the people that constitute millions of producers in Nigeria. Nigerian production, over 90%, is dominated by the smallholder farmer. For the foreseeable future, the smallholder farmer will continue to be king. But then, how do you enhance his production and productivity? How does he feed 200 million Nigerians when you leave him at the level where he doesn't have finance and equipment and technology? So we believe for him to get those capitals, equipment capital and uh, technology capital and support capital, he would have to be financed efficiently. Now that begs the question, for him to be financed, what kind of finance? Government is helping, for example, with the Anko Borowa program, where the government directly injects funds into primary production. This is a good catalyst. But we also need to mainstream private and commercial finance from Nigeria and around the world. But then private and commercial finance perceives these smallholder farmers and their production model as very risky. How do we de-risk it? Yes, NASA is there to provide the guarantee, but even NASA also requires innovative insurance products to be able to de-risk its own de-risking mechanism so that then we have large uptake. Now, standard insurance products that are in the market, we believe in NASA would not be supportive enough. That is why we are partnering with Pula as our technical partner, and we are bringing on board Naik, which is the leading insurance company that is uh, owned by the government, and also Naikom, the regulator, to come together at a round table and work with the insurance industry in Nigeria, form a consortium. How do we develop brand new innovative products that will be comfortable enough for farmers to pay, and that will catalyze a signal, that will send a signal to the financial industry, that now farmers are protected not only at indemnity level, but also in terms of their final cash flow. Let me make it clear. This new insurance product, the index-based insurance product, particularly the area yield index insurance, protects not only the initial loan or capital the farmer puts in, it also protects his, his potential cash flow. So if he pays the adequate um, the premium required, the farmer is comfortable not knowing that the, not only the cost that he puts into his soil, but also whatever he projects as his revenue is protected as well. Now, this is the kind of comfort banks need. Banks know that if there is a failure with the farmer, the insurance industry will step in and pay for the initial loan and also pay the farmer the potential revenue that we have gotten out of that. We believe this is the way to go and uh, by pioneering it in Nigeria and leading this kind of product development on a large scale in Nigeria, it shows the way that insurance industry will have to follow not only in Nigeria but across Africa in terms of supporting primary production. So let's look at the challenges, sir. What so far are your challenges uh, with the insurance company and the farmers? It is the challenges that led us to work together now to develop this new brand new product. So I believe we don't look at them as challenges, we look at them as opportunities. The more the so-called challenges come, the more we convert them to opportunities and the more we and the industry are challenged to produce new product that works for both farmers and, uh, and the insurance and finance industry as well. Okay, so how will you rate uh, agricultural insurance coverage generally in the country? Because for me, it's a... There is a lot of room for improvement and that is why we believe instead of allowing the industry to go solo. We believe forming a consortium, all of us coming together, the regulator, the central bank, NASA, the finance industry, the insurance underwriters. It, it takes a village to be able to support the millions of smallholder farmers producing in Nigeria. Therefore, um, I would rather say look at the glass as half full rather than half empty. Thank you very much. Nigeria. And today we are sharing some of the lessons uh, and learnings and challenges that we've experienced in growing these products across Nigeria. So talking about challenges, what can you say from the challenges? The challenges are, you know, how do you get data to price insurance products? So we've really invested heavily with NIRSAL support in data collection so that we understand what yields farmers are able to achieve. And what we've seen is actually quite encouraging. Farmers are able to achieve with good seeds, fertilizer, they're able to achieve on average over four metric tons per hectare on rice now and going up to seven metric tons. In some areas the average has become five metric tons. So we're really seeing an investment in agriculture paying off through the support and interventions of organizations like Nearsol. Um, so providing credit to farmers, making sure they can access markets, those are the key things. I was talking to a farmer and he said, look, we're hardworking. We're hardworking farmers. If you give us access to credit and access to a market, we'll take care of the rest. And I think Nearsol is really supporting that. Thank you very much. In the country. And 
they actually said um, that insurance coverage, either insurance coverage, is poor, and Nike is now responding promptly to the other needs. So, what do we say for some of this? There is actually information that is left between us and the farmers. And that is why Nike is going around the zones and the states to sensitize the farmers, to educate the farmers on the practice of insurance, the principles of insurance, the claim settlement procedures. Where claims are not paid as promptly as a farmer will wish, there will be question how what happened to the documentation. How much of cooperation did we get from the farmers? Agric is not like the conventional insurance businesses. When there are losses, we must inspect. There are certain standards, minimum standards. We only insist on the minimum standards in the operation of their businesses, of their industries. There are so many things. Sometimes a farmer will say he's not paid his claim or he did not get as much as he expected. It's a function of what insured. Sometimes you have a farmer that uh, has an asset, insurable asset in terms of base in terms of the farm. What millions of naira? And because he, he just gets a bank uh, facility of one million naira, he wants to place the entire asset for insurance on that one million naira. Whereas what he has on the farm is two million naira. From day one, that farmer is already doing insuring 50% and keeping himself as self-insured. They may not know this. We try, we go around to educate them on the provisions of the cover. Even if they get the loan from the banks and the insurance is arranged for them, we emphasize the fact that they are the one directly in contact, in contract with the insurance company, not the bank. Of course, the bank will have a loan in view of the loan granted, but they should take more interest in the provisions of the insurance company. As they are not coming, we have been going to, to stations to educate farmers, and this is a continuous thing we do. Okay, please.